Thank you guys for watching Jews Uncut. I am back. Today's episode, I am here with Peter! Peter, thank you so much for you, coming to Juice Uncut. You're welcome, you're welcome. I'm really excited because I know we're about to talk about some real stuff. Okay. We're about to talk about Nigeria, we're about to talk about okay. Jamaica and everything. Please, come on. Okay, great. so my first question really is, what mm. is it like being Peter? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just being myself. You know, I think what people see when they watch a show is just who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, we decided, uh, Cynthia and I decided from day one, if we were going to do a reality show, we shouldn't have to fabricate anything because our life were interested enough mm -hmm. to just roll it out, you yeah. know. Yeah. You know, we're more concerned about what we're not going to give them more than what we are giving them. Mm, interesting. So yeah. it's, it's really interesting seeing your life play out on TV and Yeah, everything. well, my life completely played out on yeah. TV. My old marriage played out on TV. <laughs> yeah. You know, from we got married, build up to getting married, to being together for several years, and then going through a divorce. So, Peter, yeah. you have multiple businesses. Yeah. Um, so, how many restaurants or clubs do you have right now? No, r right now we have Sports One in, in, uh, in Charlotte, mm -hmm. and we have Club One in Charlotte. Mm, okay. And uh, Bar One is being built currently in Charlotte. Nice. And then we have uh, Bar One here and Sports One Beer Garden. You know, under the construction right in now. Atlanta. You know, we just got the architectural plans back, so we're getting nice. ready to build. Yeah. You know, I gotta come to Bar One because yeah. I'm gonna be in Charlotte next week for a okay. speaking event, so I definitely gotta yeah. come. Okay. Definitely, so. I mean, you you're gonna love it. It's gonna what, be for free. When <laughs> are you coming on the weekend? On the weekend, yes. It's okay, gonna be on Saturday. Oh my, yeah. Oh, you're gonna love it. Okay, good. You're gonna you're gonna experience both on Saturdays. Okay, that's nice. You're gonna nice. you're gonna eat first at Sports One, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna leave from Sports One to go to Club One to turn up. Hallelujah! Okay. I know, right? That's, that's, that's my thing. That's turn up. Saying. Hallelujah! Let's go. Woo! So, um, do you consider yourself more of a New Yorker or a Jamaican? Wow. You know, I'm. You know, I was born in Jamaica, so that makes me Jamaican. Mm -hmm. You know, but I wasn't raised in Jamaica. I was mm -hmm. raised in Brooklyn, New York. So mm -hmm. I'm a Brooklyn cat to the fullest. When people ask me where I'm from, it's different from when you where you're born. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they ask me where I'm from, I always say I'm from Brooklyn, mm -hmm. but I'm Jamaican. You yeah. know, that's really interesting because mm -hmm. in Nigeria, you're mm -hmm. you're from where you no, actually you're from where your parents are from. Okay. So it makes sense, you know, what you're saying as far as yeah. you know, maybe you relate more to. Brooklyn, you know, of yeah. course, then. Yeah, well, that's you when, know. you know, I you know, was in New York from I was 9, 10 years old. So, yeah. yeah. And then New Yorkers are real, you know, and mm -hmm. then Jamaicans too are very real. So it's like, yeah. I see, we see a good mixture it's, it's of that. It's a whole lot of realness yes, over here. Yes, <laughs> I know, you're right. So it's really interesting watching you and it just being real, okay? I cannot say it enough. Yeah, well, you know, I think that's what probably, you know, make this franchise work. Mm -hmm. better than the other several franchises that they mm -hmm. have out there in the housewife world. For the fact that you're getting the realness. People ask me every day, oh, is that person really like that? I'm saying, what you see pretty much is what you get from them. I wow. mean, like when I fell out with Nene, we didn't speak for over two and a half years. Wow. You know, being on the show, mm -hmm. we didn't. And y'all were really yeah. cool. Y'all had a yeah, great yeah, friendship. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we also have to respect and we also have to know boundaries, you true, know. True. You know, some sometimes, you know, it it get it get ahead of them. Mm -hmm. I would say them more than us, the guys. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're the one who are employed by Bravo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we're not. You know, mm -hmm, we just mm -hmm. we just like like the side dish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, you know, at an early age. In doing the show, I, I didn't want to be just a side dish. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know, I decided that if we're going to do this, I, I don't want to be... I, I watch this, the program and I see what happened to the other guys. I, I didn't want that to be me. Yeah. You can't put a camera in front of me and, and, and don't expect me to work. You know what I I'm know, saying? I have I my know. brand also I want to mm -hmm. develop. Yeah, that's true. You know, true. it's not that's called... True. Uh, the housewife and Peter Thomas, <laughs> but I made it the housewife and Peter Thomas. Mm -hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it worked for me. Yeah, you were definitely a character. Like yeah. it's unforgettable. You can't. You, you're not gonna miss that. You're yeah. not gonna miss Peter. You're not gonna miss Peter. Well, just try to be honest at all times. Yeah. You know? at, yeah. le at least to yourself, if, if nothing else, you gotta yeah. be honest to yourself. Yeah. So what is it like dealing with? I would say maybe the haters. You know, yeah. every week is like the blogs love to talk about you, one thing or another. What is it like reading? Maybe I don't know if you read the blogs, but what's what's that like? I, I usually don't read them. People tell me about them, and mm -hmm. then you know if it's untrue, then I'll respond to it mm -hmm. immediately. 
If there's some truth in it, I usually don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let them let them work Stop. it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's one particular one that I don't like at all, which is media takeout. Mm. They, I think they just fabricate things just to stay relevant. Oh, wow. I don't think they're ever really right about anything, especially never nothing with me. I think... They just, I think they wake up one morning and say, hey, who are you going to do a story with? Let's do one with Peter and let's make this up. And then they put it out there. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And they constantly do that. And we know. all eat it up, you know, because it's apparently probably just juicy, you know. We yeah, just well, people want to believe certain things. Oh, we know, you know, we saw the situation that happened with you and um, Cynthia, you know, mm -hmm. the, the divorce and everything. Mm -hmm. um, it was really interesting seeing, I guess, the soft side of you, you know, <laughs> being, you know, just pouring your heart out. Well, you know, you know, I didn't get married to Cynthia because of the show. I got married to Cynthia because I was in love with her. Yeah. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And I and uh, I was hoping at all times that it was she felt the same way I did. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But anyway, um, you know, like every day I get up, I wanted our thing to be better. To work, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. improve. Mm -hmm. What can I do as a husband to make life better? Mm -hmm. You know, and um, Cynthia is from a different place. You know, she's from a different background. I think she she grew up not uh, seeing successful um, husband and wife situation mm -hmm. even in her mom. Mm -hmm. You know, her dad and her mom didn't make it past Cynthia being four or five years old. Mm. You know, and then she have watched other situation with her mother that was unsuccessful. Mm. So she put, I, I believe that she put, you know, walls around herself to protect herself. Mm -hmm. To her, uh, uh, being, um, being financially strong is the best protection, that she don't have to ask anyone for anything. Independence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, mm -hmm. she love her independence. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that was attractive about her also mm -hmm. when we met. You know, she's a proud woman, so every time she leaves the house and go outside, you know, when, when Portia and, and um, Phaedra is projecting that I'm sleeping with employees and I'm sleeping with young girls, even though we know not, not, that not to be true, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? She feel like every time she go outside, the world was looking at her, mm. and half of them was thinking, like, oh, a dumbass chick, why is she with him? She's, you know, because they think they know us. Mm -hmm. So I think that kind of really wore her down after a while. So, you know, like, I couldn't watch it mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. after day, her trying to defend something that wasn't true. Yeah. So there's another part of it. You know, you have, they know how to recruit certain type of personality, the, the, um, the people who cast these shows. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after season one, if you get past season one and you go into season two, three, and four, you start making a lot of money. And this is the number one show mm -hmm. on the whole network. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like when you're in season five and season six, you're making well over $1.5 million mm -hmm. for four and a half, five months work. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money. That's, it's addictive. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like a cat going into the NBA or the NFL and he has this huge contract. Yeah. <laughs> and after a while, you know, he's not a star anymore. He's fade, and They don't want to fade. These girls don't want to fade. That's true. These That's girls want to stay on top forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, just the thought of not getting uh, the letter. Because every year they have to wait for the letter after the season is over. They have to wait for the letter to say you're invited back. Mm. Every year. So they become slave to that letter. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I might coming back. Yeah, yeah. You know, if if a million and a half is no longer my salary, what am I gonna do to make that kind of money to That's maintain true. that type of life style? You understand? Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. You know, me living with Cynthia on the show is like every day was a production, even when the show wasn't shooting. Because <laughs> every day she get up, you know, she has to look a certain way to yeah, go out. This, this person want to interview you. This person want to interview you over here. You know, you got to go do an appearance here, an appearance there. So every day was a production. Wow. That That's not a marriage. That's a job. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So after a while, we'll find out that we were more uh, business partners than husband and wife. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the fun was gone. Every day I get up, I don't want, I don't want to see people in my house. <laughs> every That's day, true. you know what I'm That's saying? True. So every day I get up, there's a whole, uh, if it wasn't the production shoot in the show, it was production like a glam squad, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or assistants. Or fans. Or you know, no, no, every now and then a fan will ring the bell because we wasn't in a gated community, but you know what I'm saying? It's always someone there, 
You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, her mom was always there because mm -hmm. she had a mother have to watch her teenage daughter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I'm in a house with, like, people all the time. There was no privacy, none. Oh, Lord. I was happy to get away <laughs> from that, to be honest with you. Oh, you know Lord. what I'm saying? I'm happy to wake up in my, in my two-bedroom apartment in Charlotte and there's nobody there. Oh, so wow. if I want to walk around my house naked, I'm good. I haven't done that in the whole time I was married to Cynthia. Really? Never. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Just picture that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's not fun. I don't know if I want to picture that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't fun though. I mm -hmm. promise you it wasn't fun. You know wow. what I'm saying? As much as I love her, none of that was fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We never took a vacation. The only time we ever went away is when the show, when we go away on an international trip mm -hmm, with the show. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not like if we, you know, we work 18 hours a day when we're on those trips. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's not like if we could just go take a, a, a walk on a the break, beach and yeah. 10 people ain't looking for you. Or <laughs> you escape, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know, yeah. I saw the part where you took the cast members to Jamaica. Yeah. What was that like? It that was, was fun, though. Yeah, that was fun for me for the fact that, you know, I love my country, mm -hmm. you know, and um, bringing them down there where... Um, most of them haven't been to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And just, just showing them the culture, the old cultural yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, to me, it's more intriguing and more interesting than me going, than me being here in the South. You know, there's, there's a sense of uh, more freedom in the islands than you have here. Yeah. Yeah, we weren't, you know, we, I didn't get up every day when I was younger uh, and, and feel any kind of suppression. You feel poverty, you yeah. don't feel yeah. suppression yeah. by others. True. Because everybody looked like you. So, True. You know what I'm saying? So it's more of a class thing, yeah. you know, than, than a racist thing. Yeah, you yeah know it's what more I'm of saying? a money thing. Yeah, yeah so I, it was different, just showing them that, showing yeah. them the countryside. You know what I'm saying? Being that I grew up in Nigeria, I know yeah. exactly what you mean. Yeah. When I'm in the U.S., I feel the pressure. You can't yeah. even explain it. Yeah. You only know that the pressure's not there when you go back home. Yeah. You feel so free, and you're like, yeah. wait a minute. Why yeah. do I not feel like this in the U.S.? Because you're not being judged for being yes. for the color of your skin. Yeah, it you know, feels... You're, you're yeah. being judged for other things but not that not that yeah you know yeah what I'm saying? so it's a difference yeah yeah so um well i've already told you i'm nigerian mm -hmm. and what i love to do on this show i was going to ask you have you done ancestry dna I, I i absolutely have six months ago you know like again i'm spending a lot of time with myself now and every morning i wake <laughs> up and i'm watching wendy williams show or one of those oh, shows yeah, yeah. i see those commercials That's so true. i call it in and they send me the kit actually my do my my daughter did it first yeah, uh, and I wanted to, you know, complete the picture for her. Mm. You know, so it, it it was it was good. You let know. me see if I can guess, mm -hmm. right? I mean, well, okay, well, let me first start. Do yeah. you have like, are you like 60%, 70% African descent according to your DNA? According to my DNA, my DNA I'm 93% African. Ooh, okay, yeah. let me guess. Yeah. Um, do you, you have some Ghana in you? Definitely. You have some... Kenya in you? No Kenya. Do you have Nigeria in you? Absolutely. Ooh! Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Um, okay, just tell us. <laughs> okay, uh, in my DNA test, me being 93% African. Nice. 41% uh, is split between Ghana and the Ivory Coast. Mm. And then I'm 35% Nigerian. What? Come yes. on, brother. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes. Have you been to Nigeria before? I've never. I want to go so bad. Every you time. ready to go? You going to go with me? I, I would love to go. Okay, with good. Because Nigeria, Nigeria is where it's at. Yeah, I would love Nigeria's to go there. Where it's at. You know, everybody tells me that I'm not going to achieve success until I take that trip. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. say I should go. Because, you know, a lot of Africans, especially in. Um, in, in Charlotte, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, most of my friends are Liberians oh. or, or Nigerians. There's oh. a lot, there's a large population of Nigerians and Liberians mm. in uh, Charlotte. Okay. So, of course, they love, you know, they, they're of a certain class, so they mm -hmm. love what I present there, and they, they're my biggest supporters. I, I definitely see the Nigerian mm -hmm. men love to dress like you, yeah. you know, and then the Ralph, Niger Nigerians yeah. love... Ralph Lauren, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, very, that's us. They love that's us all day. <laughs> yes. That's us. Yeah, you, you are. That's true, though. Mm -hmm. You are always looking tight. You're always mm -hmm. looking like you know, dressed up. I'm Even the when best you're not... dress man in a housewife come franchise. On, come on, Peter. Come on, yeah. Yeah, that's true. No, you are right. You're yeah. right. You're always looking spiffy. You're always mm -hmm. on, on top. So yeah, I'm, that's really you know, good. I was married to a supermodel. I can't that's look like true. a bum. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I watch her getting together with the whole glam squad, and I got to go over in the corner and figure it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when I walk out there, I'm, I'm killing them. I know you, you know are. You know you are. You know you are. Yes, thank you. Um, 
So what is it like living in Charlotte compared to Atlanta? Charlotte is a bit slower. You know, it's the, all that glam is not there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's nobody like me up there. It's just me, mm. you know. Uh, here, here in Atlanta, you have like all kind of reality shows and reality stars, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and the people up there, you know, I always said when you walk into, there's a difference. When you walk into Target, you know, they're like, oh my God, there's Peter, there's <gasps> Peter. And they whisper it. Mm -hmm. and, but they're very polite. When you walk into Walmart, they just all over you, you know. Really? <laughs> you know, it's just a different oh experience. God. Come over, we, you know. They hug you. They take in selfies without asking you. Really? You know what I'm saying? Oh it's God. crazy. It's two different type of thing going on. I think this is more like Walmart here, <laughs> here in Atlanta, and uh, Charlotte is more like Target. At bar one or club one. Yeah. Do you get to play like Nigerian music, African music? Yes, we do. Oh, we do nice. that. We, we, all day. Yeah, that's in the set, you know, with a bunch of reggae, the mm -hmm, whole nine yards, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. But I'm a hip hop fanatic, so you know that that oh, comes. Oh Lord! Yeah. I mean, I can totally see that. So yeah. I, mean, I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, this season, it was real. It was mm -hmm. deep. It was a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, did you feel exhausted after everything? You know, I only shot probably around ten times this mm -hmm. season. Okay. I would fly in, do my part, and then fly right back out. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when I'm around it, I'm watching it like like most like fans right is. now, yeah, and I'm I'm blown away by some of the stuff that I'm seeing because mm. I don't really get to talk to them. I don't really talk to any of the ladies at all, mm. you know. And every now and then, uh, Todd and I would chop it up, but mm -hmm. you know, like the guys usually are not that engaged with what's going on with them anyway, mm -hmm. you know. So when I'm watching, uh, you know, like they talk like. Candy, I was really blown away with the Candy and Portia the thing. The situation, yeah. And they said that, you know, they had a real strong lesbian moment. Oh, Lord. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, you know, I was asking Todd, what were you doing when, <laughs> when she was tongue kissing you? I saw that. Tongue kissing I was your like, wife. Peter, you know Peter, Peter, Peter. I saw that. <laughs> every, every man look for that pass. I don't care oh what they say. God. Every man. Look, for, especially if you're, you, you're sexually active, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and you have an attractive wife and she have an attractive friend and, and you're out in the strip club and, and a, gir your, a girlfriend come and stick her tongue down her throat. Oh and they, what are you going to say? And then if your wife kiss her back, <laughs> it's, it's got to go down. If it doesn't go I down, I'm going to look. I'm gonna look like a chump if that happened to me. Oh my you God. know what I'm saying? It has to go down. We all fucking, oh, all Lord. of us. <laughs> All of us, okay, and it might be a one-time thing. I hope it's a one-time thing yeah, because that's true. not that's that's not my lifestyle, of course. Peter, but Peter, that would be Peter. a moment, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be so, a moment. So what's um what's your relationship with Apollo now? I don't really get to talk to him that often. Every now and then, you know, you call and you know, like, you know, I don't speak to him that often. I mean, he's he's been gone over two years. And I drop money in this commissary like every quarter, I oh, would say. Nice. Like yeah. every three or four months, I would put some money on his books. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I see that you and Todd have this nice little bromance going on, you know, this nice that's, camaraderie. That, that's a New York thing. Mm, you know what I'm saying? That's true. He's yeah, Todd and I gel because both of us are from the, the concrete jungle, I call it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We both come off the same type of block mm -hmm. and live in the same type of building have the same type of friends. So it's easy for me to communicate with him because he knows, we know, you know, we have the same experience growing up. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. not, if he had grew up in Georgia and I grew up in New York and it's, it, it's a lot of stuff that's not the same. Yeah. You know, yeah. what they call um, the hood is not the hood. If you got grass outside in front of your house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I got concrete outside in front of my house. Yeah, I live yeah. in a building where there's 400 other families live mm. in that building. I don't even know everybody. That's real. You know what I'm saying? And every day you go out there as a teenager, you got to fight to survive. Yeah. They don't do that here, man. Yeah. You, we do that up there every day. There's 10,000 people on the city block. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't face 10,000 people in, in a year. Mm, that's true. You know what I'm saying? We face it every day when we go outside. Mm -hmm. Get on that subway to go from one location. You can't walk down that block because you got beef with those people down that block. Oh. If you go down that block, you might get killed. Oh, my God. So you have to walk four or five blocks around to avoid that block. You oh know what I'm saying? That's how, we, that's how we raised in New York. You know, that's Todd true. could relate to stuff like that. Wow. I love Todd's mom, man. I, mm. I really, that lady was special. Yeah. You know what I'm it saying? It was sad to hear. Yeah, the reality passed. of, you know, like... Um, you know, shooting with someone and then they pass two years after you, you, you know, you actually meet them.
Mm. You know, so I went to the or a funeral and uh, it was just me and Greg. Mm. None of the housewife was there. I thought that was the weirdest thing in the world. It was oh, just me and Greg as cast members. And uh, I, I think all the other girls had somewhere else to be. You know, so but Greg and I made our way there. It mm. was special. So speaking of Greg, yeah. how's your relationship with Nini now? Uh, I don't really see them at all. Oh, I don't okay. think I've seen Greg and Nini since we we did Jamaica last year. Mm, interesting. No, I've never seen them. Mm. Oh, no, they came. She did a comedy thing in uh, the Comedy Zone by my club in Charlotte probably around nine months ago, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I saw them then. I heard she come back on the show. Do you? What do you think? Do you know? Uh, you know, it, the, the show is a beast, you know. It's a, it's a machine. <laughs> and once you get, uh, you get, Nini is the original, you know? Yeah. So I don't see, it makes no sense to me without her, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. you know, what about Kenya yeah. and Candy? Well, they, and came, they came after. That's Nini, true. Nini was the original girl. I heard Kim is coming back also. Yeah, Kim. You know, well, it's, it's going to be the 10th year of them doing the show. Interesting. So I would I would like to see a lot of people that been on the show back in that 10 year episode. Gotcha. It's 10 years of doing that. 10 you know years. what I'm saying? Yeah, 10 years. Well, I will I mean I was on it. Well, I'm I'm still on it. Uh for 7 years. Mm, wow. Yeah. It's been 7 years already? 7 years. Wow. I mean, she raised yeah. back, so... Yeah, and I'm happy because, yeah. you know, she get enough money to finish her house <laughs> because she had that house, building that house for five years. Is it? Yo, that's a monster. That's a beautiful oh, neighborhood. And, and that's a big-ass house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have money to Complete. build the type of house. Mm -hmm. She didn't choose... Yeah, exactly what I was talking about. When you lose that job, then, you know, you weren't really qualified before to do anything to make six figures yeah and then it. they give you that six seven eight figure mm. income so when you lose it if you didn't set yourself up to maintain that kind of money you're going to be back right where you started mm. especially if you didn't save any money yeah and in her case i don't think she had saved any money so i i believe them bringing her back really help her out to finish that mm -hmm. house what would you yeah. advise those who are trying to get into the reality show thing it's not for everybody it's not everyone in, it, it's is comf is comfortable with the camera, and the camera is comfortable. Most important, the cam the camera is comfortable with them. Mm. It's not everyone that's made for it. It's not everyone that like I watch. I think uh, Phaedra make bad reality TV because mm. you really don't know anything about her life. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? I don't know why they keep her on the show because she doesn't reveal anything. I mean, well, speaking of Phaedra, yeah. I heard she was getting kicked out of the show. Did you? I hear don't think anything? they're gonna kick anybody off the show for the fact that there's a fan base that's already have vested interest in that person. Mm -hmm. And is this is not like HBO or Showtime or cinema where it's a subscription base. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is based on ratings. Mm -hmm. And I, I think they're terrified to remove anybody that ha that's been on it that long away from it, feeling that the rating is going to drop. Mm. If the rating dropped, that means the commercial value dropped. That means the show get top heavy and of it course, folds. Of course, of course. You know what I'm saying? So they have to keep, you know, that's not the way the model was designed, but that's the way the model became. It's now. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, it's, it's, I mean, you'd have to do something drastic to get fired from that show. Mm, interesting. I think they thought the girls was going to be slave to them, but they become slave to the girls. Mm, wow. At least that's how I see it. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the thing with, you know, I guess us, mm -hmm. um, black people you know we are entertaining okay yeah, yeah. so i mean it's not a surprise that and then again they're very influ very influential you know a lot of people can relate to them mm -hmm. the beauty the glam you know it's it's very it's a very lifestyle little. it's a lifestyle show i watch new york and i watch new jersey and i watch uh beverly, beverly hills. hills that's my favorite i think them girls are crazy uh, but they're super rich also yeah. so <laughs> I, I don't see them just changing people out mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because they, they they can't afford, and those ratings are not even half what Atlanta does. Mm. You know, when Atlanta is doing a three point five, the rest of them are doing like a one point eight. Goodness me! So wow. Atlanta is way up there. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think they could afford to uh, replace anyone. Yeah. Um, also, the the thing that we well, the final thing that I want to do too is I want to give you a Nigerian name. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what's so. My name? <laughs> <laughs> So, you do look like you'd be from the Yoruba tribe. Yeah. Mm. That must be the good-looking tribe. 
Yeah, yeah, they're, okay. they're good looking people. Because the girls think I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Peter. I don't get to look in the mirror that often. I didn't even realize that this was all white until they told me it oh, was all white. Oh, for real? Oh, my God. I'm like, wow. oh, shit, really? I can't shave? Well, I mean, it's a good, I mean, it's not like it's packed up. It's good. It's good, mm -hmm. Peter. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> so your Nigerian name means, actually, it is Ademola. 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 Yeah, say it again. Let me see. Ademola. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay, it means royalty meets wealth. Damn, that would be Peter Thomas all day long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it means royalty meets wealth. I can't wait to go to Nigeria. So remember that, yeah. Ademola. I'll remind you. Don't worry. Ademola. Ademola. Yeah. So it means royalty yeah. means wealth, meets okay. wealth. Do you know how to speak Patois? Uh, Jamaican part. Yeah, yes. you can, right? Yeah. And we also, I mean, we also speak broken English. I don't, yeah. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, right. so what do you want to, um, what can you say in Patois so I can say it back in Nigerian broken English? Boy, we can't wait for Nigeria, you know, because once enough girl will look like you. Oh, I think I know exactly what you said. <laughs> okay, so you talk, say you won't go to Nigeria so that you go find enough girls that look like, what was exactly, that? Exactly, they look okay, like you. Okay, good, yeah, good. Yeah. You see, guys? If I just, if I saw them looking at Nigeria, we can't wait, forget that. Ah, Nigerian girls plenty, we're fine yeah. too, no worry. Uh, that may I say. Then they're very endowed. Bop, bop. Woo! That may I love for. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, thank you so much for being on the show. You're thank welcome. you so much, You're I really welcome. appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I am definitely coming to borrow one please, next week for please sure. Please do, please next do. Next week. So, okay. um, what is your social media information so they can stalk you? Uh, <laughs> yes, my social media handler is Peter Thomas R H O A. Mm, okay. Peter Thomas R H O A on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, yeah, just Twitter and Instagram. Okay. That's my social media handle. I'm on Facebook too. So every time I, I take a picture on Instagram, I usually send it to Twitter and Facebook right away. Mm. Yeah. And then how can we find more information about Bar One or Club Oh, you just uh, well, you know, Club One is Club One C L T dot com. Okay. You know, they have their own um, Instagram page, Club One C L T or mm -hmm. Sports One uh, C L T also. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Anything else that you have going on? Any well, I news? I can't wait. I can't wait to you know. Oh, there's big news coming around the corner, but I can't share that with you guys. Oh, they would probably fire me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But big things are going on. That's big all I can say. Big on. things are going on. Yama. Yes, and um, yeah, and I can't wait to open. Um, now that Todd and Candy got the old lady gang yeah, going on, yeah. I can't wait to open Bar One and Sports One here in Atlanta. Mm, nice. And you know the energy, you know, like we, you know, we're very competitive, so yeah. we're gonna be competing against nice, each other. Nice, nice. And I think the 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 audience, the the fans will, you know, will love it. They're gonna love it. Nice, they're definitely nice. gonna love it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. And guys, for more information yeah. on this show mm -hmm. and what I am wearing. Visit JewsUncut.com and follow Jews Uncut on Instagram and Facebook, Jews Uncut. Also, we do shout outs, okay? Today's shout out is gonna be, today's shout out is gonna be Moni Love 63. That's M O N Y L U V 63. Go follow Moni Love 63 on Instagram, okay? She is really cool. Moni Love, thank you for rocking with Jews Uncut. I love you guys. Bye!